Now, in the conditional statements, let's talk about the if else statement. As I already discussed in the previous video, it is used to pass some conditions that is, after the if keyword, I can pass any condition using the logical or comparison operator. And if the condition is not satisfied, then we can go for the else. But else is optional. So you are not forced to add the else keyword right after the if. So this is how the execution will take place. Like when the code flow will be happening, there will be a condition carried by the if keyword. If the condition is true, then only we will execute the conditional code. If it is false, we will terminate that particular code. Means that particular code will not get executed. You can also change the multiple conditions using the else if. Means if the first condition is false, you can proceed with the second condition. And the second condition will, with else if will only be compared when the first condition is false. So let's see practically how can we implement this else if and if statements all together. So here we are implementing the if statement. What we are doing here is we will be taking the marks of any three subjects from a student and after that I'll sum them up and will calculate the percentage. On the basis of the percentage, I will assign them a grade like whether it's grade A, B, C or D. So what I'm doing here is using the prompt box, I'm taking the all three marks. Now, whenever you will enter something in the prompt box, it will be treated as the string. So here, whenever you will use the plus operator for adding the things, it will actually be concatenated and you will not get the desired result. So in order to make them treated like the integer, what I have done is I have used the method called or function called parse int. So in this parse int, what it will do, it will convert the type to the integer. So now when I will add this, uh, when I will use this plus symbol, it will actually add them rather than concatenating. So once I get the total, I have applied a very simple formula for calculating the percentage and here I'm considering the maximum marks as 50. So whatever the percentage is there, I will print that and after that on the basis of that percentage, I will pass the conditions in order to get the grades. Now here you can see it is if and right after this it's a parenthesis inside which I will pass a statement which will return a boolean value. So here I am using this comparison operator and we have already discussed about it like whenever you will be using the comparison operator it will return you a boolean. So uh, if this particular condition is true I will get an alert box with the thing grade A. Now if this condition is incorrect so it actually depends what you have written after that for example if I don't have these line of codes so if the percentage is not greater than 80 nothing is going to happen if it is greater than or equal to 80 I will get a message grade A but it's all depends on the situation and your requirement like what and how you want to do in a condition means if this condition is incorrect and I don't want to do anything in the condition when the condition is incorrect so I will leave the program like that but if I want to do something if this condition is incorrect or if I want to check some more conditions if this condition is false then I can go for all these things like here you can see it is not a if but it is else if means this condition will be checked only when the previous condition is false if this is true this will never be compared similarly if this condition is returning true then we will not go to all these statements this condition will only be checked when this will return a false and so on and similarly when all the conditions are false only then the control will up come in the else part so this is a chaining thing right you can see when I whenever I'm using the else if that means each and every condition is changed and it will 
come the control will come inside them only when the previous conditions are false so for example if I have entered something and the percentage is uh, having 85 so 85 is greater than 80 85 is greater than 60 also 85 is greater than 40 also but as I said if this particular condition is true the control will never come in these conditions so doesn't matter whether they will return true or false nothing is going to happen so let's save the program and see the output in the browser so let's refresh this here I will enter the marks so as I said like I'm taking the marks out of uh, 50 so I entered 45 46 47 they are pretty good marks so obviously the percentage is good that is 92 and here I'll get grade A similarly if I will enter some marks like 34 32 37 so the percentage is something 68 so it will get grade B and similarly if the marks are quite low like 14 24 and 12 so it's 33 percent it's grade D all right so on that particular basis you can actually uh, calculate the things and can pass the conditions using the if statement apart from that you can use any operator which we have covered earlier which are returning a boolean value so this is a very basic implementation of if statement